to get this error message from OBS Studio and the error say failure to initialize video, your GPU may not be supported or your graphics drivers may need to be updated. Now I'll guide you on how to resolve this issue, so make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Whether you get this on Mac or Windows PC, I'll be showing you for all guides. Now to resolve this issue, first start by doing this. Reset OBS video settings. There's a fix for Windows and on Mac, so if you're using Mac, also bear with me. I'll show you on how to do it on Mac. Now let's start with Windows. On Windows, make sure to navigate to this directory here, which is users, then your username for PC, app data, roaming, OBC studio, basic profiles, and then untitled. You can do this by pressing window plus R, and then type this, which is percent app data percent, then click OK. Also click OK, then look for the OBC Studio folder. Here's the OBC Studio folder. Make sure to open it. Then open the basic folder here. Then open the profiles. Then open the untitled. And then you'll see this basic INI. If you click on it and then make sure to select on it, then just open it using your notepad. So I'll open it using notepad. Now after opening it using notepad, now follow the instructions here. Now also open using your notepad, then scroll down to the area labeled video then change the top four values as following so make sure your values are like this one which is 1920 to 1080 so make sure to scroll down to this notepad so scroll down to this notepad until you see video so here's the video as you can see mine is exactly set like this so if it's different make sure to change them and these are just four values here for the top of the video here make sure are set exactly like this after that make sure to save changes for this notepad after saving changes then try to launch OBS Studio. Now on Mac, just in Finder, press Shift Command G and paste in the following line and hit Enter. And the line is this one, which will be available on the description of this video. Make sure to copy it and then press Enter, and then you'll be able to find your OBS Studio folder, which exactly it will direct you to the profiles. Open your profile folder, then open the basic.ini in the text editor, such as text edit or notepad. Just like I do it on Windows, after opening it, this basic.ini, scroll down to the area labeled video, then change the top four values as following, and make sure the values are like this, just like I do it on Windows. Save the file and close Notepad or any text editor and try launching OBS Studio again. Now, if you've done so, but you're still facing again the same issue, if it doesn't work, just delete the OBS Studio folder completely and then try launch it again. So you can just go here to the application support and then make sure to delete the OBS Studio folder completely, then try to launch it again. Or if you're on PC, just press window plus R, then type percent up data percent, click OK. Then look for the OBS Studio folder. So here the OBS Studio folder, make sure to just delete it, then try to launch your OBS Studio and check if your problem has been resolved. If you're still facing again the same issue, just download this DXCPL and install it. Now this is for Windows, so make sure to download this DXCPL and install it. The link will be available on the description of this video. After downloading this DXCPL and install it, open it now after opening it click edit list at the top of the window as shown so click edit list at the top of the window as shown navigate to your obvious folder and point to the obvious studio excel file and click ok so make sure to navigate to your obvious folder and point it to the obvious studio executable file and click ok select the force swap checkbox at the bottom of the screen and click apply this will force obvious studio to run with the drivers you have on your pc and the problem should just be resolved if it all fails, you can download this driver, download this driver booster, which the link will also be available on the description. Also click to that link, make sure to download this driver booster. It will help you update all the drivers for audio, video, and any driver that is needed for OBS Studio. It will be updated and it will help resolve this issue. But in most cases, if you follow all the instructions here very carefully, you'll be able to resolve this error which say failure to initialize video. Make sure to follow these instructions very carefully especially downloading this DXCPL and install it. Then follow the instructions that I've shown you in order to resolve this issue.